Ali, don't, <laughs> don't blow so hard in the beginning. Remember what I did? I blew too hard in the wrong moment. So we have plenty, time, plenty of time for that process. I say, stop one more time, a little bit harder. And if you blow a nice one, Eileen, and that's it, that's it. If you blow a nice one, I do a glass loop on that later, and I pack this for you in the box and the free gift for you. But if you blow a very nice one, I sell it. <laughs> okay. So a couple more seconds, and I have the hot, a hot liquid glass. So now I roll it, and I pick up the colored. Are you here? They all here. Oh. And each of these splitters that makes me a real nice pattern. Now I need just a little puff, just a little puff, and then I go back to the splinters. And trust me, it's not hot on this side. It's not hot. Trust me. Okay, just a little puff. Just a little. Good. I pick up some more bigger splinters. Right. Now. Archer. So, and now they are just on the outside. I have a graphite plate with me, ladies and gentlemen. Graphite or carbon, that's the only material that will not stick to the hot liquid glass. And I roll that hot liquid glass on that graphite plate and got all my colors in the crystal glass now. I do that right now and it feels like slippery. Slippery, like on an oily film. All the colors now in the crystal glass, back to the flame. And now comes your turn. Do that with your feet. Hmm? Do that flame with your foot? Yeah, I regulate the flame by foot pedal. So we have plenty of time for that process. It's not so hard. In the beginning, and <laughs> please don't inhale, Aline. Don't inhale. <laughs> that should not be a big problem for an American girl. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you think? I think about Bill, uh, I think about Bill Clinton. Yeah. He said, yes, I did it, but I did not inhale. Okay. A nice one. That's in the larger crystals, the bigger spots, and from the larger mm -hmm. glass pieces. Yeah, from the larger one you can blow it bigger. But this is a good quality, will not will not break so easy, that's why I stop in that diameter. Okay, and now that's what I said. If it's done, I melt off both sides. Yeah. I did before. That's the first one here, see? That one I don't need anymore. That one is for the trash. Oh. The other side too, but in ten minutes time. In ten minutes time. That ornament will be cold and I can touch it with my fingers and I will do for Eileen a nice hook, a nice glass loop. Oh, and you can hang that on the window for window decoration or all year long on the Christmas on the Christmas tree. Good. So you can't remelt that? Yeah, that's a good question, Eileen. That's a good question. Is that really really uh, garbage? No. I have end of my season around three hundred kilogram from that Pyrex. Pyrex is expensive, you know. And I have around 300 kilograms, what I'm doing with that. Not for the garbage, definitely not. I have five uh, people, I taught five people in my studio. I call it homework, they pick up the raw material and they work at home in the garage. And they bring every Friday the stuff. And mostly they do the ornaments, like like my uh, 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 guardian angels here, I sell in the, three, in the three pack or single, separately. They are done from Pyrex class. I'm the only one who's doing that from Pyrex class. Okay, so yeah, Pyrex glass is that that glass here. It's a brand, Pyrex. You know, Pyrex is a brand for a corning. It's a patent. We have this since uh, 70, 75 years. Thank you. A diamond is Swarovski. The uh, the Swarovski. Swarovski crystal. 